Okay, so go ahead and sit back down. And you can recycle those pieces of paper. Did I get yours? Did I get yours? Yeah, you did. Why did you write me? How do you know what that is? I said being afraid of When do you know what that is? Am I just being burned alive? Yeah, I know that was I was being attacked by a big boy. This is a good one, though. The one I got becoming a barrier. That's a good one. Oh, that's good. So, yeah. right, right, right. we just talked about good. what each one of our peers are, and we can see that maybe yours don't relate to mine, but you do relate to some of your classmates. So how would you help them push past it? So we're going to do an example. You guys are going to help me push past my fear of failing as a teacher, and then we're going to work on our own, okay? Okay, so does anybody have a suggestion for me when I am afraid to fail as a teacher? What do you guys see? Do you guys see anything that your teachers do that help them throughout the day? Is there anything that they do as people that help them throughout the day? Does anybody have any suggestions for me? You can be as honest as possible. Go ahead. Don't be boring. Don't be boring. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> Good. Uh, when you become a teacher, uh, don't give homework. Don't like, give homework, like, like Ms. Bonner. <laughs> Anything else? I'm open to any suggestions. Go ahead. Don't give too much work at once. Don't give too much work at once. Go ahead. I have a personality. Personality, yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, maybe sometimes, some days, like play games or just have a time to relax. Okay, so maybe some downtime where we're not always doing something. Yeah. Depends what grade you're in, but decorate your room. Decorate the room, yeah. I have joy adventures. <laughs> <laughs> I see a lot of Miss Bonner in this conversation. Yeah, Good. Just be yourself. Be myself. All right, I can do that. Interact. Interact. Okay, go ahead. Learn about every student. Learn about every single student. Go ahead. Try to be like an open for communication as you can. Okay, so being kind of flexible maybe. Okay. Anything else? So, I'm gonna write this bullet pointed list, so no homework. I think that's like number one. Do you guys agree? Not being boring. All right, and then having a personality. I think Jolly Ranchers was in there. <laughs> um, I think that touches on kind of the bigger ones, right? Being able to relax, I think that was a good one too. Alright, so these are some of the things that I can start working on as a future teacher and that it's going to help me push past my fear of failing, you guys. So what you guys are going to do is you guys are going to pick one of those fears that you guys either heard of or the one that you picked up, and you guys are going to work on pushing past their fear for them. Some suggestions that you can give that person, okay? So go ahead and make a copy of a slide, that slide on there, on yours. So you can just go to file and make a copy. And then add your name to that slide. If you aren't on the Google slides, it's on the agenda under unit or something, unit four resources or something like that. Fourth hour resources. Fourth hour resources, I yep. knew there was a four. Give me a thumbs up once you've created a new slide and you're good to start working. So you're going to make a new slide and like how this B-bar made a slide with her name, you're going to make a slide with your name. And then just write our fear. You don't need to make a whole copy of the whole entire presentation. Just one. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Just one. I did that last time on accident. Yeah. Go ahead and help your friends if they can't pull it up. I didn't mean to. I have two accounts on my 